Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. Got another package in of course today. And as you can see, it's not a huge one, not real wide, but uh, it does have some nice stuff in it. And this is the back country kit. Let's open it up and find out what's inside. All right guys, so this is what was in the box, but don't be fooled, this isn't all there is. Uh, as you can see, we do have our card, and uh, it is the simple, the simple little cards that they put out now. Uh, this one on the back here says Survival 101, and it does talk about uh, a couple little things here. Uh, basically talking about some of the products uh, that are part of the kit. Obviously, this is the primary thing here, and uh, for those of you who aren't sure, this is, of course, uh, for the basic guys, it's a field box. Uh, something to keep your stuff kind of dry and and uh, you know you can kind of stow it away and uh, keep the water out and everything like that so you can have it out in the weather and uh, it's definitely good for that kind of stuff uh, for anybody that's more of a kind of a gun guy or something like that uh, you do kind of normally call these ammo cans and uh, roughly the size of this is usually for something like uh, the five five six rounds or something in that range uh, is generally what I see ones that look like this. Uh, now obviously this is by Sheffield and uh, you of course have the information here on the side. It is made of plastic, it has the simple fold up handle. Uh, it is made to be stacked and that's what these little rings here are for and they go with the little feet that are at the bottom. You do also have a couple of locking points so that if you want to try and keep uh, some ne'er-do-wells uh, out of your stuff you can put a lock here, and this is a metal piece, uh, as well as you have two uh, tabs on either side that you can put locks on, and those ones are plastic because they are molded directly from the unit itself. Now, like I said, this actually isn't the only thing that's part of this kit. We do have a few more pieces. First thing we've got is the Surviving the Great Outdoors book or manual. We also have a cable saw we then have a hunting style knife, as well as a paracord bracelet, and the sheath for the hunting knife. So let's go ahead and check some of these out real quick. Uh, now, I will say this, I like the way this is set up. This is not a standard cover, this is a like rubberized cover. It's, basic, it's basically a piece of rubber instead of uh, you know, a piece of uh, cardboard, which is what it's usually kind of made out of. Uh, you have this, and of course that makes it so that it's better for like when you're outdoors. If you have the book laying there, it starts to rain, you're not gonna have your cover all swelled up, and then after that happening a couple times, it's gonna fall apart. Uh, so that's very nice. Now, of course, the pages are still paper, but it does give you lots of different things. Like right here, for example, uh, it tells you how to navigate by the stars. And uh, of course, different survival skills like that are things that uh, can definitely help you uh, for, uh, you know, if you're out in the wilderness, if you get lost or anything like that, uh, this might be a good thing to bring with you. Uh, the next thing we've got here is we've got the commando wire saw. And let's go ahead and pop it out of the case here. Now, of course, wire saw is it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a wire and it acts like a saw. Uh, you know, so pretty simple in that aspect. But uh, so what it does is you've got a cable right here and uh, it's basically braided wire. Uh, the thing is, is the way that it's done is that uh, the wire is twisted and it is coated and things like that to have a very rough and uh, kind of, well, basically a rough texture that can sit there and cut wood. You then have the two little hand straps that are on here so that uh, when you're cutting something, you can sit there and put it around whatever it is, and then you can pull on the hand straps back and forth. Another option for this too is uh, if you'd rather, you can actually make a bow saw out of this by taking a, a, a green branch and bending it over, putting a notch in either end and sliding this up through, and then you have a nice little bow saw as well. Uh, but uh, these are definitely very handy. They're extremely lightweight, so uh, they're easy to take with you. Throw it in a pocket, throw it in a little uh, little side pouch on your uh, on your pack or something like that. 
and you know with them you can of course collect some firewood as well as use it to help maybe make shelter or something else. Uh, then we of course have the very common and kind of go-to item that a lot of people that um, think about going out in the woods and survival and stuff use, get, want, need and that is the simple survival bracelet and it is just a simple paracord bracelet this one does not have any extra bells and whistles to it uh, it just has this simple braid there this one is uh, as it's marked on the thing here as being nine feet of paracord which is actually pretty good because of course there's multiple strands in these as well so you can separate those out if you need something like fishing line or anything of that sort uh, and then also uh, this is also by let's see Rothko is the company that this is made by and then last but not least we'll do both of these at the same time and of course that'll be the the hunting knife along with the sheath now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this on here because I noticed taking the hunting knife out it is uh, coated in oil which of course is great because it keeps the blade from rusting or anything like that we'll glance at the sheath here real quick and it is of course a leather sheath they do have a nice little stamping emblem right there as well as the stitching which uh, makes it look very nice this is uh, a nice lighter brown than uh, what a lot of them are usually a lot of them are more of a dark chocolate and this is more of a uh, I guess maybe kind of a dark camel it'd be a, the uh, maybe the right kind you do have a simple snap here that will help to keep the knife inside of the sheath as well as you do have a simple belt loop and the nice thing is is this is one of the hanging styles uh, that's kind of what I prefer something a little lower or well actually I would say sits higher on the sheath so that it sits lower on my hip and I don't get stuck in the side by the handle uh, now the knife itself has a well first off a nice wood handle uh, it is shaped it does have the little cutouts for your fingers to give you a, a good strong purchase on the knife uh, it's nice and smooth it feels very comfortable uh, pretty good it gives you a nice feels like I got a lot of control on it right here uh, you then have a nice blade right there which is roughly I'm gonna say right around four and a quarter four and a half inches long with the overall curve there a nice straight blade and then you do have basically a gut hook is what this is uh, usually referred to as and uh, we call it a gut hook because uh, once you make that incision on uh, an animal as we said uh, calling this a hunting knife uh, you can then take and slide that in there and use it to for lack of a better term zip open the skin and uh, so that is a sharpened area inside there it's also good for uh, cutting things like uh, if you have paracord or anything like that for example if you needed to shorten up sections of your paracord bracelet you just slide it in there and pop it right through and it cuts right through that uh, the other thing that's really kind of cool about this because of the design of it and it being a deeper well like that you actually can use this as a bottle opener so uh, if you're out there and you want something to drink and you don't have your bottle opener but you have this you can of course use this and to pop it open because you're not going to damage that uh, cutting edge since it's recessed down in there so far and that is made that way on purpose uh, let's try this I want to see how this works we can get uh, some hair oh wow yep that's that's cutting off real nice right there yep yep it's taking it off real nice I would say that's definitely doing a good job uh, I cut the hair off pretty easily missed maybe a couple of them so maybe touch up the edge a little bit maybe hone it it's probably all it needs but uh, otherwise it's definitely uh, very nice it is very thick as you can see right here that is uh, probably about I would say 3 16 I don't know that it's quite a quarter inch thick um, but it does have some good weight to it so uh, it's definitely going to be one that is going to be strong and it's going to last you for a while uh, so I think uh, I think it's definitely a, uh, a good deal but uh, there we go there's all the uh, parts we've got here we ended up with a nice little handful a nice selection of stuff for the uh, 
for the backcountry kit here. You can take all your stuff, of course, store it in your, in your can here and keep it all nice and dry. Uh, you can, of course, there was lots of room in there so you can store additional things in there. You, of course, have the handle that you can take it with you. But uh, this was definitely a very nice little kit. Uh, has some good products and uh, I'm impressed. Now, if you guys like this and you want to check it out, you go down there and I'll have a link to the Bespoke Post site in the description below. Also, uh, if you use that link and you do decide to order something, you're going to get some money off your first order. Uh, also, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media and I've got that uh, PayPal link that's there that takes the place of Patreon for anybody who'd like to help out the channel. And then on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That, of course, lets me know that you like the video and you want to see more. And uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and, uh, you know, that way you'll know when I've got new videos here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, my name is Cougar. This is the World of Me, another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.